Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the window expert. Thank you so much for watching this video where I talk about the NT aluminum window. This is called a twin insulator. This is a, not the old school aluminum like you probably have in your house today or your grandfather had in his house. This is the aluminum 2.0, maybe even 3.0. This is the high tech aluminum. And I think you're gonna really like what we're talking about today. So just so you know, I'm standing here in our beautiful showroom in Houston where we have over a dozen brands of windows and doors. And one of the most popular things that people are looking for when they come to our showroom is they say, Jeff, I want a black window, I want a black window. You know, Chip and Diana, what's Chip and Diana? No, not Chip and Diana. It's Chip and Joanna, who out of Waco, Texas, made the black window thing really popular, and it's still very popular, has caused a lot of window companies to make black windows. And if you're looking for a black window, sometimes an alternative to a vinyl black window or a wood black window would be an aluminum black window. Now, if you live up in the north, you're gonna find that aluminum is probably not your best choice because aluminum is a great conductor of heat and cold. Did you ever watch that movie? What's the movie, the Christmas movie where the kid, he licks the flagpole and his tongue sticks to the flagpole? Well, the flagpole was made out of aluminum. Now, if you remember the name of that movie, say it to me in a comment down below. Okay, you might win a free Jeff Ludi hat or a t-shirt. But that is an illustration of how aluminum is so great at conducting heat and cold. For example, if you look on the back of a big amplifier, like a really nice stereo amplifier, you'll see that it has these fins, they're called a heat sink. Those are made out of aluminum as well. Did you know that NASCAR engines are made out of aluminum? Why? Because they dissipate the heat. So aluminum is great at transferring heat and cold back and forth. Now that's not cool for your house. Like you don't want aluminum to transfer the heat from the outside of your house into the inside of your house or the cold out. So what you want instead is you want what's called a thermally improved aluminum or a broken aluminum. Now hold that thought for just a minute. We're gonna hit pause, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, sorry that took a second, I wasn't ready. So this is a side view, because this is mounted in here and you can't see it, but this little black bar you see right in there, it's just really hard to see, that little black bar. That is called a thermal bridge, okay? It's called a pour and debridge. And what it is, is you have an outside aluminum window and an inside aluminum window, okay? But then what keeps the heat and cold transferring from one side to the other is this part right here in the middle. This thing right here in the middle is actually a separator, a bridge, a break, if you will, between the outside and the inside aluminum frames. And so that's why we call it aluminum 2.0. Now this one, I call aluminum 3.0 because it's not just on the actual frame of the window that it has that thermal break, it's actually on the sashes as well. So you get it on the sash and on the frame. Some window companies will say, oh, we have a thermally broken or a thermally improved product. And then what you'll find out is that it's only on the frame, it's not on the sash. So I'll show you what I mean. And by the way, this thing operates so nice. I wish you could, look at this, one finger operation, look at that. That is really nice, okay? And now you can hear a little noise. You know what that is? It's great weather stripping. It's the weather stripping really being tied up against the sash, which is really important, okay? So if I tilt this in, if you notice here, it's really, really hard to see, but it's got that right there. It's also got that same black bar I was telling you about. So this window has the thermal break in the frame. It has a thermal break in the sash, and that's why I call it aluminum 3.0. Now, if you notice, it's really got a, a beautiful finish. I mean, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's not too shiny, you know, like sometimes you'll see some products are real high gloss. I don't care for that. This is not matte, but it's somewhere between matte and a high gloss, maybe sort of an eggshellish sort of finish. Uh, operates smoothly. This glazing bead is on the inside. Um, this is the part that holds the glass in place. It's on the inside, which makes it great for changing this glass out if this ever broke. <clears throat> say on a second story or third story or fourth story application because you don't have to go outside with a ladder to do that. So people like me in the service industry of windows really can appreciate that. But on the outside, you can see here that this is a nice clean look because they put 
they put that interior glazing bead on, bead on there so that on the outside you have a nice clean flat look. So if you follow this line, this line is one continuous line going all the way down. Some other products you'll see that they have a horizontal line that comes across here and interrupts that. And so I like this. I like this. And I'll also tell you what I think is pretty cool. If you go see this window out in the field after it's been in use for a few years, you'll see that not having that horizontal line right here means that's not trapping a lot of dirt and dust and things that run down the window. Now granted, it does have a horizontal line right here. You're still going to have to clean your windows, but it's a good looking window. And this is powder coated, okay? This is not painted. This is a powder coat. It's called a 2604 powder coat finish. If you just do a search for 2604 powder coat, you'll learn a lot about that if you'd like to. Now, is this window perfect? Does it do everything I want it to do? It pretty much does. However, what you're getting here is a, this is a value-oriented purchase. I've got some products that are going to cost twice as much or three times as much as this product here. So you're not going to get perfection out of this. Like, for example, uh, and I'll get you a close-up if you, if you can't see it. Some places on the corners, like on the edges, where the aluminum was cut, you can see where the powder coat was interrupted. And you don't quite see, like, all black. You see a little bit of a shiny finish on that. To me, that's not, that's not perfect, but it's, it's fair for this price point. Um, also, the glazing bead on this, this part here that holds the glass in. Some companies where you pay a little more money, this will also be made out of aluminum, but it'll be like a, a flat, more contemporary piece. And if you notice this one, if you watch, you can see how I push on that and it actually dents in. This is more of a vinyl uh, glazing bead. However, I'm glad that the glazing bead is on the inside, okay, because it's now protected from the ultraviolet light. If you go look at your old windows right now, they'll also have a, a vinyl glazing bead on the outside. And if it's this concave one, it's like a little clamshell one. If you go out there, you'll see that it actually has probably gotten brittle and you see little pieces of it broken out. And so they did do a good job about putting that on the inside. Some of your higher tier, higher quality products will actually be using a flat aluminum powder coated uh, product that goes in there, which is a little bit stronger. So it's, it's a way to save a little money, which is also going to save you money. Saves the manufacturer money, saves you money. Now, what's one of the real important things about a window? Glass, right? Glass. I'm really glad to see that NT makes this product with cardinal glass. Cardinal glass is absolutely the best in the industry. Ouch, that hurt. It is really, really good stuff. You get the most visibility with the best performance you can get. Now, people say, well, Jeff, isn't glass glass and isn't all, aren't all windows the same? Hey, I made a really amazing video. It's about 20 minutes long. I promise you, it'd probably be the best 20 minutes you spend during your buying purchase cycle for windows. And I'll put a little thing up here and one down there for it. It's about why you shouldn't buy poorly made cheap vinyl windows or any cheap window, especially when it comes to the glass, because glass is 90%, 95% of a window. So you're getting the same glass in here that you're going to see in that product that's made by a company called Renewal by Anderson that's charging like five times as much money for their windows as this window is. Same exact glass. So you're going to be really, really impressed with the performance of this window, the way it, the way it works, the way it handles, and the durability, the longevity. I mean, yes, aluminum is probably not the most efficient, even though this aluminum 3.0 really, really is pretty close to like what you get out of vinyl. But you've got to admit, the old aluminum windows in your house, how long have they been there? I mean, they last. They last forever and ever and ever. So a good window like this made out of high quality aluminum will outlast your mortgage. I mean, definitely. You're really going to get a long, long lifespan out of this aluminum window. Hey, it's got a lifetime warranty on it as well. So there you go. Now, they also make picture windows and they make radius windows and square windows and round windows and just about anything you want. This is their this is their picture window. This is the fixed window. This one is actually in the dark bronze color, where this one I just showed you here is in black, okay? Everything else about it is pretty much the same, except nothing operates on this. Now, full disclosure, there's some things I don't like about this window. And come over here, stand right here, so you can see it really good. See this little angle down here? Do You see these screws? Can you see those screws in there? I hope you can see the screws. Okay. So what they do on the, on the inside of that window is where they put the glazing bead on that window, right? So the glass goes in from the inside and then they put that strip in. On this one, this is the outside of the window, the glass goes in from the outside and then these 
bars go around here and they're screwed down in. It, it works really well. I, most of my customers never even notice it, but I like to, you know, full disclosure kind of guy, I like to point that out to you that you're not gonna put a window like this, okay, next to a picture window in your home and have the two side by side and not notice a difference. Now granted, this is a different color, but you know what I mean. This is a different frame look from what this is. This has an interior glazing bead. This has an exterior glazing bead. This has visible screws, which makes it look kind of commercial and industrial. And some people really like that. And if that's what you like, good for you. But I, I wanted to point, point that out to you. Now, there is one other possible problem, right? If you've got glass to change on a third story, uh, then you know, <laughs> This is gonna be much harder to do because you gotta get a ladder out, you gotta carry that big piece of glass up there and leave that to the professionals, okay? We'll, we'll take care of you with that. Now, NT stands for North Texas. NT, North Texas. They've been around since I think the 80s or 70s. And it used to be just a Dallas-Fort Worth area company. So who would know more about dealing with Texas climate, right? Than a company called North Texas? But actually, they've spread out, and I think they're in about nine or ten states now across the south. So if you're in one of those states, you should look for someone who has this product if you're looking for aluminum. So people say, Jeff, another question for you, buddy. Tell me about the price point on this product. Well, the reason you would buy this product, this is who buys aluminum. A couple of things. One, structural engineers. You know, down in Houston, we've got a lot of engineers. And engineer types, they're worried about vinyl and its longevity and its rigidity and its strength. So aluminum is about four times stronger than vinyl. So it does have, you know, it's got that. If you need strength and you're concerned about that, you're going to get it out of aluminum. The other type of person who buys an aluminum product like this is someone who is saying, Jeff, I want a black window on the outside, black window on the inside. When you get to a, a vinyl product that you put a black exterior and a black interior on, it skyrockets the price. And I've got videos about that. I won't get into it now. But this is an alternative to someone who wants black inside and outside. Instead of getting a black inside and outside vinyl window, a lot of times as a price point, this figures out to be a better price point for you than getting a vinyl window. Now, if you live up north, and you're up there where it's really cold, I don't think aluminum is probably a good choice for you under any circumstance, but if it's something you wanna consider and something you really wanna do, then now you know more about aluminum windows. Hey, by the way, if you're looking for help with your window project, check out the windowexperts.com, and that's how you can reach me, and I'll see if I can be of help to you. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And when I make more videos, you'll be more informed. Thanks for watching, have a great day. I'll talk to you again real soon.